Understanding the difference between losing fat and losing muscle is key. Many begin on weight reduction programs with the intention of being healthier and more fit. However, it's easy to misread the weight dropped on the scale as merely fat. The contrast between fat loss and muscle loss is crucial for creating a lean, muscular body. Losing muscle may significantly affect your metabolism and overall strength. Muscles serve a key part in sustaining biological functioning and physical capacities. When you lose muscle mass, you're not only shedding weight, you're losing the same tissue that helps you burn calories effectively and do routine chores. On the the other side, fat reduction leads to enhanced health indicators such as lower risk of chronic illnesses and better body composition. Fat doesn't contribute to strength or metabolic health in the same way muscle does. Thus, it's crucial to guarantee that the weight reduction you experience is largely from fat, not muscle. In this video, we will analyze the indications that indicate whether you are shedding fat or muscle. We will also share practical ideas on how to retain muscle while decreasing fat. By the conclusion, you'll have a firm grasp of how to attain your fitness objective successfully. One of the key indications of fat reduction is changes in body measurements. Unlike muscle, fat takes up more room in the body. By periodically measuring regions such as the waist, hips, and thighs, you can follow changes that may not be reflected on the scale. A smaller waistline is a consistent marker of fat reduction. Energy levels may also act as an indication of fat reduction. As you reduce fat, your energy levels frequently increase owing to lower pressure on your cardiovascular system and greater metabolic efficiency. Increased stamina and decreased sensations of exhaustion are great signals that you are shedding weight. Another sign is changes in body composition. Fat reduction often leads in a slimmer look with enhanced muscle definition. Tools like body fat calipers, bioelectrical impedance scales, or expert examinations may quantify your body fat percentage. Regular monitoring might help you notice the improvement that isn't always evident, visible by weight alone. It's also worth noticing changes in garment fit. If your clothing start to feel looser, particularly around the waist and thighs, it's a positive indicator that you're shedding fat. Pay attention to these non-scale successes since they frequently give a more realistic picture of your development. Well, muscle loss presents in various appearances ways. One of the earliest indicators is diminished strength. If you notice that you're unable to lift as much weight as normal or struggle with activities that were formerly doable, it might signify muscular loss. This reduction in strength is a clear indicator that your muscle mass is reducing. Muscle pain is another symptom. While some pain is typical after exercises, persistent or increased discomfort might signal that your muscles are not recuperating adequately. This lack of recovery is typically a consequence of muscle tissue breakdown outperforming regeneration, leading to muscular atrophy. A notable reduction in muscle size and tone might also signify muscle loss. If your muscles look smaller and less defined despite frequent exercises, it may be due to decreasing muscle mass. This physical shift is generally accompanied by a softer, less toned look. Finally, a decline in total physical performance is a critical symptom. This involves not just strength, but also endurance and agility. If everyday chores or exercise routines become more difficult, it can be due to muscle loss. This deterioration may impair everything from sports performance to daily duties. Nutrition has a key function in sustaining muscle during fat reduction. Protein consumption is extremely crucial. Consuming enough protein aids muscle repair and development. Aim for at least 1.6 to 2. 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily to maintain muscle mass while decreasing fat. Carbohydrates also have a role. They give the required energy for exercises, helping you retain strength and performance. Incorporate complex carbs, such as whole grains, fruits, and vegetables into your diet to guarantee consistent energy levels. Healthy fats are needed as well. Fats promote hormone synthesis, including hormones like testosterone, which play a role in muscle maintenance. Include sources of healthy fats, such as avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil in your diet to promote general health and muscle maintenance. Hydration should not be disregarded. Water is necessary for muscle function and rehabilitation. Stay being hydrated ensures that your muscles may operate properly and recover quickly after exercises. Aim to drink at least 8 cups or 2 liters of water every day or more if you are active. Strength training is vital for maintaining muscle during fat reduction. Incorporate resistance activities such as weightlifting, bodyweight exercises, and resistance band workouts into your program. Aim for at least 2-3 strength training sessions each week to maintain muscular mass. Progressive overload is a crucial idea. This implies gradually increasing the weight, repetitions, or sets in your exercises to consistently push your muscles. By gradually stressing your muscles, you encourage development and avoid muscular loss. Combining strength training with cardiovascular exercise is also useful. Cardio helps burn fat, but too much might lead to muscle loss. Opt for moderate effort exercise like brisk walking or cycling, and minimize high-intensity workouts to prevent severe muscle damage. Rest and rehabilitation are crucial to muscle preservation. Ensure you allow your muscles time to heal between sessions, overworking your muscles 
muscles without sufficient recuperation may lead to muscular fatigue and atrophy. Incorporate rest days and explore methods like stretching and foam rolling to assist recuperation. Adequate rest is frequently disregarded yet is necessary for muscle maintenance. During sleep, your body repairs and rebuilds muscle tissue. Aim for seven to nine hours of excellent sleep every night to help this process. Poor sleep may lead to muscle loss and impair fat reduction attempts. In addition to sleep, rest days are vital. They enable your muscles to recuperate from the stress of exercises. Without appropriate rest, you risk overtraining, which may lead to muscle deterioration. You plan at least one to two rest days every week to guarantee adequate healing. Active recuperation, such as gentle stretching or yoga, may also be useful. These movements stimulate blood flow to the muscles, assisting in healing and minimizing pain. Including active recovery days may assist preserve muscle mass while continuing to burn calories. Overtraining may be detrimental. Signs of overtraining include chronic tiredness, irritation, and lasting muscular pain. If you encounter these symptoms, it may be important to reduce your training intensity and increase rest intervals to avoid muscle loss. Accurate monitoring of progress is crucial to differentiate between fat reduction and muscle loss. Regular body measures, such as waist and hip circumference, offer a good indicator of fat reduction. Track these measures every two to four weeks. Body composition analysis is another useful way. Tools like DEXA scans, bioelectrical impedance analysis, and skinfold measurements may reveal a thorough breakdown of fat and muscle composition. Regular evaluations help monitor developments correctly. Progress photographs are a valuable visual tool. Taking images from various angles at frequent intervals might help you identify changes in body composition that may not be obvious on the scale. Compare these photographs over time to monitor fat reduction and muscle maintain. Keeping an exercise and nutrition log is useful. Documenting your exercises, nutritional consumption, and physical changes help spot trends and make required modifications. This method guarantees that you are preserving muscle while decreasing fat effectively. Several fallacies surround fat and muscle loss. One prevalent fallacy is that exercise alone is adequate for reducing weight. While exercise helps burn calories, it doesn't retain muscle as well as strength training. A balanced approach is important for best outcomes. Another fallacy is the assumption that you may focus fat reduction in certain regions. Spot reduction is a misconception. Fat loss happens throughout the body. Focus on general fat loss with a mix of nutrition, exercise, and strength training. Some individuals assume that consuming less protein will lead to more fat reduction. In actuality, enough protein consumption is crucial for muscle maintenance during fat reduction. Reducing protein might lead to muscle loss, which is counterintuitive to obtaining a slim body. Lastly, the concept that lifting large weights would make you overweight is untrue. Building large muscle growth demands precise exercise and dietary regimens. For most individuals, lifting weights will assist retain muscle and boost fat reduction without contributing to excess of bulk. Distinguishing between fat loss and muscle loss is vital for building a healthy, strong physique. Monitoring body measures, energy levels, and physical performance might assist detect if you are shedding fat or muscle. Understanding the indications of muscle loss, such as reduced strength and muscular discomfort, is vital. Practical measures like good diet, strength exercise, and enough rest are crucial to retaining muscle while decreasing fat. By following these suggestions, you may guarantee that your weight reduction journey leads to a leaner, healthier body. Accurate progress tracking and refuting common fallacies can help you remain on target. Remember, the aim is not merely to reduce weight, but to enhance body composition by keeping muscle and lowering fat. With the appropriate technique, you may produce enduring and significant outcomes. Looking for high quality supplements backed by Dr. Andrew Huberman himself? Check out the links in the description below and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you've learned anything new or anything of value.